Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, man. Welcome back to the channel. We had just finished watching The Eminence in the Shadow Season 2, Episodes 2 and 3. And I'm not going to lie. I thought this, this arc was going to be the whole season. That yeah. nigga ended it in three episodes. Yeah, and it was flashy indeed. Like, there's a part of me, like, aside from... I'm not mad because the way how he ended that shit, it was pretty much amazing as fuck. Yeah. But at the same time, that kind of would have been a fire-ass arc to see. Just because Shadow Garden was in the field. It's just things just kept escalating really, really rapidly. But, hey, we said it during the episode. That is probably the biggest flex in the anime for when you want to talk about finishing an arc. Yeah, it's like, I'm not mad either. It's just they set it up so perfectly. Yeah. Like, it, they set it up perfectly. I'm talking about nothing I would have changed. That nigga pulls up on one of the main niggas and just offs him and dips. Disrespectfully, too. Didn't even say nothing until he was dead. Hey, well, looking at the future, so many doors are open now just because now we got the White Tower with this nigga. And... I don't know where that's about to go, but, I mean, this nigga is on some devious timing right now. So, all I can say is, damn. Yeah, like, the White Tower, see, the other nigga, he can clearly bang. He obviously not, like, Shadow crazy or even the other Queen Please Elizabeth crazy. The, the big swole nigga that sopped Claire in the face with the big-ass cleaver. The Black yeah. Tower nigga, yeah. Like, he can bang. And I'm assuming they're at least close, Her, the the fox lady and and him. I would assume they're even. Yeah, type shit. Like I would assume they're even, which is a very interesting sign. I'm very curious yeah. what she wants here. Yeah, like power scaling in this show is different. And everything that we've seen so far, whenever these niggas get involved, is some major shit. I'm a little damn that we never saw Alpha, but at the same time, like, I have no idea where that could go either. Like, they kind of just ran through a lot of the shit, so that's tough. Yeah, and when uh, Beta, I'm pretty sure that was Beta that said it, that, uh, that Queen's power was more than Lady Alpha's. Like You said what? When uh I think it was Beta that was there that said uh the Queen the Blood Queen's power was more than Lady Alpha's. Did she? One of them said that. I don't know which one said that, but one of them said that. The way how she was banging, I don't doubt it. That's all I would say. Like I wouldn't necessarily doubt it just because of how strong she was banging. Because the white and red towers or white and black towers, I mean, let's be honest, like she damn near just soloed the entire Shadow Garden. So Yeah. Looking at it that way, like it's not really that. I wouldn't doubt it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And <laughs> the nigga Shadow basically was toying with her. Shit is crazy. Like, that nigga was saving his bread while protecting everybody and fighting her. Then no diffed her and revived everybody, basically. Greatest flex, right? That brother is different. Now, I'm not going to lie. Like, this art, the, the vampire aspect was interesting to me because every vampire, like, adaptation I've seen... There's like subtle differences and stuff, but this one kind of combined a lot of them, like the the silver dagger in the heart to keep uh, Elizabeth asleep. In the originals, it's the Vampire Diary spinoff. The originals, it's about like the original vampires. They're like not regular. It's the OG family that turned all the others, and they have silver daggers. When you put it in their heart, they don't disintegrate like the other vampires do, but they they can't move. They're like comatose basically. So it's like there's that aspect, but then there's also like um, the other aspect with the sunlight. Like 
in other vampire adaptations like uh, Vampire Diaries and uh, uh, what's it called? Twilight. Like it's different how the sun rules apply. Like Twilight, it, they look like diamonds and shit. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful as shit. Vice versa in Vampire Diaries in the originals. If you don't have a certain ring or a certain whatever the fuck, you just burst into flames and they disintegrate. This one was kind of like a, I wouldn't say a mix, but it was kind of like different in a sense of all they had to do was stop drinking blood and they could walk in the sunlight. Like it was very cool how they made their own kind of version of like combining everything. My thing is like when we got uh, Marie's backstory and everything and then we got Claire's little I'm possessed shit. That was set up to be so amazing for not only just them two, but also getting other characters involved. Like I thought, I thought we were gonna see Alpha in his art, for example. Now I'm not mad at Sid sliming uh, the Crimson guy because it was funny as shit. And at the end of the day, these three episodes were fire. But I feel like. It low-key would have been a little better if he didn't. But again, I'm not mad at it. Come here, man. Well, I mean... I I don't really have much to say to that. I mean, I guess most of that's like... You know what I mean? Yeah. Sounds like an overall analysis like type shit. I'm right there with you by default. Yeah, but overall, man, like... But I will say, like, I guess if I had to say anything, like, not like the originals is in my bag, so... Yeah, 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 tight shit. I can only just, for the most part, guess say you're spitting, you know what I mean? Yeah, that was was just something I was thinking about while watching. Just kind of throwing it out there, but... Yeah, I mean, what do you mean, like... No, I'm just saying, just, like, I was thinking about it, I figured I'd save it, type shit. Why would you? For the, for the video. Because we're cutting out the episode. Right. But, uh... You yeah? good? Yeah, I'm good. Like, you, you're not going to say nothing? Your thoughts I mean, on the episode? Like, thoughts on the I episode? Already- I kind of already did. Like, I thought you just said you were throwing out your final thoughts. That's kind of where I was like, I'm right there with you. Like, I mean, if you want my final thoughts, I like I said, I'm right there with you. Like, it was fire as fuck. You mean, like, final thoughts on the art? Yeah, like, just talking about the two episodes in general. I mean, like, just in general, we kind of already said everything. But I guess if I had to keep rumbling, like, it was just fire as fuck seeing everything come together in such a short amount of time. Like we said, greatest flex, right? I mean, I don't really got much else to say. Yeah, well, let us know what you thought about this. these last couple episodes. Do you think it should have been stretched out a little more? Do you think they handled everything perfectly? I felt it was fire as fuck. Even though it was as short as it was. But let us know yeah, what I'm you right think in the comments. You. Let us know what you think in the comments. But uh yeah, man. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, you feel me? Make sure you guys hit that big red subscribe button as well if you haven't already. And hit that post notification bell as well. Yes, so you sir. don't miss episode four. I think there's twelve episodes this season, if I'm not mistaken. And you know we're going to be here for all of it. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you guys tap in with us. You feel well, me? Yeah, maybe. I was just thinking, you know, episode, season one was 24. Who knows? But. Yeah, I, I think when I looked it was 12. Oh, okay. Well, I still. I think. I hope wrong, it's though. 24. I hope, I hope it's 24 too. Because you can't get but, enough evidence. But with yeah. that being said, man, make sure you guys click on our description as well. Two links will be waiting for you. One will take you to all of our socials, Sons of Tokyo on every platform. The other one will take you to our Discord. Make sure you guys tap in with us. You know what I'm saying? Talk about anything, anime, not anime, sports, movies, it don't matter. Just come vibe out with us, you feel me? 
But uh, yeah, man. With that being said, S O T out. <laughs>